Hi, welcome to SCW Steve Chats Wrestling right here on YouTube.com. Thank you very much for choosing this channel and subscribing to this channel. And if you haven't subscribed, just hit the little subscribe button just below. Now, um, I gave you the breaking news earlier on about Roman Reigns uh, being suspended for 30 days due to failing or violating the wellness policy in WWE. It was broken on WWE.com. Um, I saw the, the Twitter news feed and also Roman Reigns giving his reaction to it as well, saying that uh, it's all on him and it apologised to his friends, his family and his fans. Now, I wanted to give a reaction video to this because really when I did the video before, I was a bit rushed and I needed to go out and the news broke just before I was leaving. So I kind of wanted to make sure I got the video out there, but I didn't really give a reaction. So I kind of felt like I didn't really give everything I meant to really give when I'm doing these videos. So I decided that uh, on this particular one, I would give my reaction to the suspension of Roman Reigns for 30 days. Now, thinking about it, uh, is this the reason that Roman Reigns lost the World Heavyweight Championship at Money in the Bank? Is this the reason that uh, we've got everything that we've just got with Dean Rose cashing on the same night, Seth Rollins originally winning the belt? Would this have all happened if Reigns had not found that drugs test? Just a question I'm going to throw out there, just a thought, just a feeling. And is it not just a little bit convenient that Roman Reigns is now gone through Monday Night Raw, was on Raw, the news has broke today, and then he's going to be back three days before the next pay-per-view, which is Battleground. It does mean he's going to miss the draft, though, for SmackDown, which he probably will be used as the... Uh, used in the draft in some form or fashion for the first live SmackDown, but... He'll be back in time for uh, the Battleground pay-per-view, which for me just feels a little bit too convenient. I, I don't know, maybe he's failed to this test sometime before and they've kept him going for just a little bit and now it feels like the right time. You know, if this had been someone like when Adam Rose and Connor, it seemed like it was immediate, it was cutthroat and they were suspended and they were gone. Didn't matter, Titus O'Neil was suspended, didn't matter, he missed WrestleMania. It kind of feels like the Roman Reigns is still kind of seen as the guy and they're using this as a protection for themselves a little bit. I could be very wrong, I'm not saying that it definitely is, I'm just saying it's a theory. Um, and I'm wondering what your thoughts and feelings are on this. But um, uh, I've, I spoke to one of the guys who did the podcast with, Georgie, he finds it quite funny that WWE's main guy, or who they want to be the guy, has gone and screwed it up for himself. I'm not so convinced that he has necessarily screwed up for himself. I, I do question, is he going to still be the guy when he comes back? But, I mean, you look at guys that failed the wellness policy before. Uh, I believe Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy have done it before, and they're former world champions and been world champions, I believe, since. So I don't think it's necessarily going to do too much harm on that to Roman Reigns himself. Um, but it does mean that we've got what we've got right now. Does that mean that Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins are going to carry the reins all the way forward for the meantime, we'll have to wait and see. But um, it does seem very exciting what would be happening uh, when we saw it, Money in the Bank anyway. Um, but uh, for now, with Roman Reigns, it seems to ask a lot more questions of, is that why he lost the belt? I mean, what would have happened if he'd not failed that policy? Would he still be champion now, even though it's right in terms? Is that why they've taken the belt off of him? And is it going to be just kept off of him now for five weeks and he gets it back at Battleground when he comes back? Certainly food for four. It's more questions than answers, but um, certainly some of the things I've been thinking about. And that is my reaction to the Roman Reigns suspension. Of course, you know, you can't condone the action that he's taken. He's taken responsibility for it. Um, should he be punished for it? Well, he is being punished for it. Should he be champion when he comes back? For me, no. I think Brolin should be the guy carrying the belt. I like the fact that Ambrose has got the belt for a spell now. I think to be keeping credible, he should hold it for a little while. I do imagine uh, with these three, it's going to be a merry-go-round now, all the way up to WrestleMania next year. We'll have to see what happens. Will they all be spit in the draft? Time will tell on that as well. But um, we'll have to see what is going to happen, really. But uh, you've, you've got my reaction there. That's my initial thoughts and feelings with it. Um, I can't say I have any of the answers to any of these questions, but uh, certainly the things that made me wonder and uh, certainly gives you a little bit of food for thought as well. But what's your feelings with this Roman Reigns situation? Um, do you agree with some of the things I've said? Do you have some feelings of your own that maybe I've not brought up in this video? If you do, leave them in the comment section of this video. Um, Roman Reigns suspended for 30 days uh, for violating the wellness policy. And uh, that's my reaction to you. So uh, if, you, if you like the video, please subscribe. Um, I'll be giving you more videos I'm sure throughout the week uh, through many different conversations and topics so uh, keep it posted on this channel even if you haven't subscribed yet uh, hopefully we'll give you a reason to subscribe in the near future but you're watching SCW right here on youtube.com and thank you very much for choosing this channel and choosing this video and uh, until next time have a good one